Welcome back to Pen and Reel. I'm your host, Uncle Joel, and today I want to talk to you about Wonder Woman aging into a wait, wait, wait a second. I'm in Doom Metal, right? <laughs> As it turns out, the digital version of Justice League number 56 on Comixology was uploaded incorrectly. Instead of getting the contents of Justice League, we got the contents of Wonder Woman Agents of Peace. And since I'm in the United Kingdom, but getting my comics from the US, it took a bit of time for customer support from Amazon to correct the mistake. Now, fortunately, they did, and I do have the correct comic in front of me as we speak, but I found it a little bit amusing, if not a bit frustrating. But as for the comic itself, Doom Metal issue number four, I found this to be maybe the least interesting of the Doom Metal comics so far, but still a very good issue in its own right. While the previous three issues really delved into the psychology of the characters and explored their new interactions after previous developments in the characters, such as the way Dick Grayson has recently got his memory back, and a reunion of sorts amongst the Titans, this issue focuses far more on just an all-out fight. There is still some decent character work here, and it is very much a character-driven book. However, it pulls back quite a bit from the character work and just focuses primarily on combat. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but for my enjoyment, I really prefer the character work and the strong concept building, and you get a lot less of that here. And so I was a bit less engaged in the story and less invested in the outcome. In particular, there's supposed to be some character development with Detective Chimp, but since he hasn't really played a significant role in the story up until this point, and even in this issue hasn't really had a lot of face time, I feel like a lot of that development is lost on me. Had we had more time with Detective Chimp as opposed to all the time focused on, say, Dick Grayson, then I feel like the effect would have been far more significant. As it is, the big turning point for Detective Chimp just doesn't have the impact that I expected it would. Especially since we get this supposedly impactful moment and it immediately shifts away from that to something else. There is no time granted to the reader to allow them to really explore the depths and the gravity of the moment. And as for the villains in this issue, I feel like they would have been better served if they had both been given a little bit more screen time, independent of one another. The Mindhunter has been hinted at over the past few issues, but hasn't been given a lot of focus. And then his story is brought to a resolution here that I felt was a little bit too quick. I would have preferred if there was a longer, bit more in-depth focus on the character, perhaps a single issue devoted just to the Justice League's combat against him. And so I feel like the pacing is a bit off in this issue, and really th this series overall. Doom Metal has done a great job focusing on the individual characters, but hasn't done a great job of really developing the plot. Now if there is going to be an imbalance like that, I do much prefer the focus on the characters, and so I do still really appreciate it. But I do recognize that imbalance, and that is probably what is keeping me from really enjoying this comic. However, it is still a really good book. Doom Metal remains one of the most consistently enjoyable parts of the Dark Knight's Death Metal event. And aside from last week's Rise of the New God one-shot, I would say that this is the tie-in that you should be reading. But if you've read the issue, what did you think? Would you have liked to see more of the Mindhunter? Do you agree with me that the Omega Knight is just kind of this giant faceless threat that doesn't really have much weight or significance? At least, just not outside of him being an obstacle for them to overcome. How do you feel about the plot up until this point? Would you have preferred a little bit more plot development, or are you okay with the story provided? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, I'm really curious to hear what you think. And if you could help me out with my battle against the YouTube algorithm by hitting like, I'd really appreciate it. And be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of my Dark Knight's death metal coverage. And until next time, this is Uncle Joel saying, stay tangible.